Hello biology class, welcome back to lesson two. Uh, I hope you're successful in navigating the first lesson. Uh, and if you weren't, uh, if it didn't go so well, definitely ask me for help. Uh, but welcome to the second one, it seems like you found it. Uh, this one is titled disaccharide. So it is two saccharides or like two monosaccharides put together. Uh, don't worry, there's no more structures for you to memorize. It's just glucose and fructose that I'd like you to know uh, to be able to draw. But what you see here, you might need to be able to pick out of a lineup, let's say, uh, to be able to say, oh, that one is definitely a sucrose or that one is a lactose. You don't have to draw them, but be able to pick them out. Uh, you'll notice that that's two of the key points. Uh, sucrose and lactose, as well as disaccharides is number one. Let's get into it, we've already started. Uh, come on, come on, there we go. So disaccharides, as I said, are two monosaccharides bonded together, a disaccharide. Uh, some examples are lactose, which is found in milk. Uh, you might be familiar with lactose intolerance, which is what our uh, section for you to do is all about. And then you probably heard of table sugar, which is sucrose. Uh, you might not have called it sucrose before. You don't say past the sucrose, but you might have said past the sugar. So that is what we're going to focus on for today. Uh, what these look like and what these are all about. Again, you can pause here and write down what was on this slide, or you, maybe you paused at the beginning. Uh, you might pause at the beginning of this next slide to write stuff down, or you might wait to listen to me talk about it as well. Um, what I do want you to do though, is take what is on these slides and either in full or on, in your own words, write down what are the most important parts are. Um, that will be for you to do in your booklet. There's a section for those notes. So if you have questions about what I expect from you uh, in terms of what is on these slides, uh, definitely let me know, but it is all fair game. So disaccharides are also called a double sugar. Um, the sugar is formed when two monosaccharides are joined by what is called a glycosidic linkage. So uh, that would be a term that I would take note of. We've probably heard of all those other ones up there uh, previous to this, but glycosidic linkage might be different. So it is what joins two monosaccharides. Uh, the joining of simple sugars into a double sugar happens by a condensation reaction, which involves the elimination of a water molecule. Uh, as you know, when, you some, when water condenses on the side of a glass, um, it essentially is removed from the air and put onto the side of the glass into the form of droplets. That's kind of what happens in a condensation reaction. Water is pushed out and it goes uh, essentially out of the air, or out of the reaction. So when we join two sugars together, we produce water. Uh, it is the exact opposite when you break a double sugar apart into its two simplest sugars. Uh, it's called hydrolysis. We essentially use up a water molecule. So I might pause it here and a couple of things that I might write would be condensation uh, removes a water molecule from the sugars while breaking sugars apart uh, adds a water molecule to them. It uses up uh, water which is known as hydrolysis. Sucrose is a very common sugar. It is a disaccharide as we're talking about in this lesson. Uh, it is composed of the two monosaccharides, glucose and fructose. So whenever a glucose and a fructose come together um, and a water molecule is eliminated, um, we get a sucrose molecule. Sucrose is produced naturally in plants uh, and table sugar is essentially sucrose. We refine it to get it on its own. Uh, for human consumption, sucrose is extracted and refined from either the sugar cane plant or the sugar beet plant. Uh, there's one of those uh, sugar beet plants in North Dakota, not too far from us. Uh, in nature, sucrose is present in many plants and in particular, their, their roots, fruits, and nectars because it serves as a way to store energy. Uh, so the sweet parts of fruits um, contain the sucrose, obviously. It, they are sugars and they make it taste sweet. Uh, so again, pause and copy this down. Uh, maybe not in full, you should be able to maybe abbreviate some parts. Uh, maybe uh, not everything is important to write every single word of it, but that is again up to you to decide. 
This is a picture of a sucrose molecule. Uh, again, it is the glucose on the left and the fructose on the right joined together by a glycosidic bond, it's called. Uh, again, you don't need to draw this, you just need to be able to recognize it. So if I showed you a, a picture of a disaccharide and it was a glucose and a fructose, fructose molecule joined together, then you would know that it is sucrose. Uh, lactose is a disaccharide as well. It is a sugar composed of gal galactose and glucose. So it is made of a familiar glucose molecule and a galactose molecule, which is quite similar, but we haven't quite talked about yet. And, um, it's just another sixth uh, carbon sugar that is made of six rings. Uh, sorry, that, has a, that is made of a ring with six uh, objects in it. Uh, lactose makes up 2 to 8% of milk, and it is in dairy products such as yogurt and cheese, except it is very little. Uh, the bacteria that is used to make them uh, consume lactose during the manufacturing process. But if you are lactose intolerant, uh, that doesn't matter at all. Um, a little bit of lactose does cause a problem, whether it's yogurt, cheese, or milk. Uh, this is a picture of the lactose molecule, so you can see it's a galactose and a glucose. It is two six-membered rings, which is what I would want you to know uh, to be able to pick it out. Uh, sucrose is two uh, is a six-membered ring and a five-membered ring, while lactose is two six-membered rings um, joined together. Again, you should have these diagrams in your notes below, uh, so you can refer to them easily. One last thing um, is enzymes. So enzymes are proteins in the body that perform a whole bunch of different functions. One job is to break down molecules into monosaccharides. So they float around and when they see a disaccharide, they break it up into a monosaccharide so it can be used. Uh, when you do not have a particular enzyme, you can have lactose intolerance. So lactose intolerance results when the body lacks the enzyme lactase to break down. So it is always the ending being changed to ASE um, that breaks down a particular disaccharide. So lactase brings, breaks down lactose and sucrase would break down sucrose. If you had the uh, ACE instead of OSE, you get what the enzyme would be. What I'd like you guys to do is I'd like you to do some research and complete the 10 questions that are listed below in your notes about lactose intolerance. They are not necessarily revolutionary questions, it's just like what um, contains, what, what foods contain lactose, what are some uh, symptoms of lactose intolerance, what are some tests for it, uh, should be easy to find. If you guys do have any questions though about what you saw in this lecture or what you need to do um, for the assignment, please let me know. And when you're done and you're at school, um, let me see um, what you've done so I can check you off and we can keep moving on to the next part. Um, thanks very much, everyone, and I'll see you soon.